Hello and welcome to a narrated video tour for 3843 Roby Street in Halifax, Nova Scotia on the Halifax Peninsula in the North End. It's going to do a quick 360 here of the street itself. Really quiet neighborhood, fully detached homes, semi-detached homes like this one. There is actually the, uh, that is the sort of the end of the Halifax Harbor. So that is Bedford Basin. So you have a water view there. And you also have some multi-unit properties here, like across the street. Really nice area, great for families, couples, peoples of all ages. Just a great spot. Parks, trails, schools, shopping, public transit. Uh, downtown Halifax is probably about a 10 minute drive from here. And uh, you could probably even walk it in about uh, an half an hour or so. So really, really nice place. So this is for the semi-detached home right here. So it is uh, three bedrooms with a finished basement, two and a half bathrooms. Uh, the uh, utilities are oil, water, and power. We've also done some estimates with regards to what the, uh, the oil and the power are going to cost. <laughs> hey there, there, you got away from somebody. One of the neighbors, nice and friendly. So uh, we have some estimates on what the utilities are going to cost and those are in the ad and those utility costs or those figures come directly from the utility providers themselves. So what we're going to do is let's walk around the exterior of the property first and then we'll go inside so you can get a good idea of not only the exterior but also the layout of the home itself. All right, so let's walk across the street and no cars coming so I'm not going to get hit. <laughs> so you have a paved driveway here, good, big enough to, uh, should be able to big enough, sorry, should be big enough to park two vehicles there. There's your front door, all the windows are vinyl, I believe, and then you have a single car garage uh, right there as well. So there's the front as we walk up. And the exterior is vinyl as well, so no need to really maintain anything. There's your front steps. And let's walk around the outside. So the tenant is responsible, like I said, or may I, like I may have said, for cutting the grass and shoveling the snow. So there's the view of the street where we just were a moment ago. So that's really the only grass. They just finished re-landscaping the backyard. It's, uh, it's uh, pretty much maintenance free now. So you have a little walkway here. The residents just moved out, so you're going to see a little bit of debris. Uh, that'll all be removed, and uh, the property is just about to have a professional cleaning as well when we go inside. But it's all been vacuumed and swept clean, so it should be good for the video. So as we walk along, so you've got a big deck. You'll see that in a moment here just on the left. And there's your maintenance-free backyard. So you have some stones here, some pea gravel, a little bit of um, astroturf, and then some bark mulch here. So really nice mature trees. Beautiful day here in Halifax. Nice breeze. I'll go right over to the corner here. And turn around so you can see that it's fully fenced. And then it's, you'll start to see the back of the property. So there's a sliding door just off of the kitchen. That's the kitchen window. You can see a little fenced in area. That's the oil tank for the oil fired furnace, hot water boiler. And then you have two windows at the top. Those are your secondary bedrooms facing the back and the uh, master bedroom faces the street. You also have a little privacy fence here and a big backyard. We'll go up there in a moment. And there is the walkway that we just uh, came through a moment ago. So this was just completed. No more cutting grass back here. <laughs> I wouldn't miss that. Okay. Cutting grass sometimes is a pain. All right, so what we have here, there, so there's your oil tank. It just tucked in there. Like I said, there's estimates for the oil consumption. Uh, in the ad itself. So there's the window uh, facing or going into the kitchen. So we'll we'll see the inside and look out in a moment. Turn right around. So there's the sliding glass door. There's the privacy fence. And there is the backyard where we just were a moment ago. And this is a big, big deck. So you should be able to fit any type of furniture that you have, uh, different seating, whatever the case may be, no problem. And like I say, what a beautifully shaded backyard with a nice breeze from the ocean. All right, so now let's walk around to the front and we'll go inside. Another walkway once again. So if you can uh, figure out a way to live on the Halifax Peninsula, I can absolutely guarantee you will be happy. I myself live on the peninsula too, and it's a it's a great way to go if you can. Properties are hard to come by. All right, so as we walk up, we have a little screened storm door there, and I'm going to turn around just so you can see the view of the area. There's the water once again. You can see it peeking through. 
your driveway and the street. So that's the view from the front steps. And now let's go inside. Let's close the door here. Okay, so now we're inside. So the foyer, is a, it's a good size, so it's a, a tile floor. You have Berber carpet going downstairs and then it's solid surface once you get there. That goes into the finished rec room, access to storage and the garage. Then you have your hardwood, um, hardwood staircase going up to your main floor. It's all solid surface there as well. And then of course you go upstairs to your bedrooms and your bathrooms and whatnot. So we'll just go up to the main floor. We'll go in the basement at the end. I'll just turn right around so you can see where we came from. So there's the entry system. It's open right up to this floor, so nice and tall and bright. And you can see the amount of natural light that comes in this floor. Nice open concept. Big windows, like I said, allowing in natural light. I'm going to talk to you about the kitchen in a moment. That's a recent upgrade. And there you can start to see the back deck where we just were. Staircase going upstairs, more Berber carpet there. And this is a paint for, uh, for chalkboards, chalkboard paint. So you can write things on it. And again, all of this will be cleaned uh, in the very near future. You also have, so this is the one of the thermostats for your furnace. So be, they will uh, be one, one zone per floor typically. So you'll have a few different thermostats for your furnace. And it also has an air exchanger. So fresh air in, stale air, fresh air in, stale air out. And it also helps to control humidity. And that is just, it, the air exchanger itself is hung just above the washer and dryer in the basement. And I'll be showing you that uh, when we get down there. So we'll start off this floor uh, with a half bath. So there's your pedestal sink and your toilet there. So that's right on the main floor, which is great. And then of course you have this pony wall here, as you've seen before. So there's your foyer and there's your living room. So lots of natural light coming all in. So let's go towards the front of the house. You also have a few floating shelves here. Bank of three vinyl windows overlooking the street. So again, where we just were. And I'll turn right around so you can see the entire floor. Open concept and a great size. And I am on a hardwood floor right now. Looks to be an oak. All right, so now we're gonna be heading towards the back of the property to this new kitchen. Beautiful kitchen. So we've got blue, blue uh, lower cabinetry with some brass pulls, quartz countertops, big island. You can see an overhang there, so you use it as a breakfast bar or a lunch bar. And then your uppers, you have a few floating shelves there. And then you have some white uppers over there as well. And a subway tile backsplash, beautiful. And like I say, quartz countertops all the way around. And you also have some storage in the island as well. All of the appliances that you're seeing in this video are included in the rent. So there's your fridge, your stove, your microwave range hood unit, built-in dishwasher. There's your rectangular double stainless sink, upgraded faucet. And there's your view through the window that we were outside just a moment ago looking in the opposite direction. So I'll just turn right around so you can see the floor from this vantage point as well. You have some more floating shelves over there too. And then you're starting to see the staircase that leads upstairs towards the second floor with the bedrooms. Really pretty, very nice. There's the sliding glass door that we looked in a moment ago when we were outside on the deck. And now we're gonna be going upstairs. So we've got three bedrooms upstairs. We've got some upgraded flooring and solid surface when we get up there. We have Berber carpet going up the staircase. And we also have renovated bathrooms here too, which is great. All right, so now we're on the upper floor landing. So this is your master bedroom facing the street, renovated bathroom, upgrade or two uh, the bedrooms facing the back of the property. So those were the windows that we saw when we were outside. You have a linen closet here. There's the staircase, which we just came up. And you also have a window in the stairwell allowing a natural light fresh air, which is great. So what we're going to do is we're going to start at the front of the property, which is the master bedroom. So you have two lights here. So that's meant for the bed to be there. So sort of reading lights. It also looks like you have some wainscoting here. Turn right around. Bank of two vinyl windows overlooking the street. That is a walk-in closet. And there's the renovated ensuite bath. And that's where we just came from. And then you can see another thermostat right there. So that is for the second floor. 
and I am on either an engineered hardwood uh, or a, a laminate, but it is solid surface. So we'll go over to the windows. So there's the view of the street. There we go, and you can see the water just right there. Beautiful. Turn right around so you can see everything from this vantage point. Great size bedroom. You should be able to fit any type of furniture that you want as far as, you know, a king size bed or whatnot. And some dressers and that type of thing. Now we'll go into the walk-in closet. So you've got shelves, rails, organizers, pretty much up to the ceiling. And you also have a window here for natural light. And that is your attic hatch as well. So a great amount of storage there. Now we're going to be going into the ensuite bath. So going from the solid surface uh, wooden floor to a tile, octagon. So there's the vanity, your mirror, your light, your toilet, and then a neo-angle acrylic shower with glass door, nice and easy to clean and maintain. And you also have your exhaust fan right there as well. Very nice, and some floating shelving. So that's the ensuite bath. Now we will go into the other bathroom, so the main bathroom on the floor, on this floor. So we've got a renovated bathroom here as well, so ceramic tile. There's your vanity, your mirror, your light, the exhaust fan right there, subway tile and an offset pattern right up to the ceiling, which is great. There's your tub and your toilet. Very pretty, very nice, and all ready to go. And now we'll do our two ba uh, bedrooms that are facing the back of the property. So the same floor all the way through. Good size room. We are going to see the backyard. There it is. And I'll turn right around now. Neutral paint color. So there's where we just came from. And there's your closet. Pop this open for you so you can see. Floor goes all the way through. And then you've got two shelves and a rail. Super. Now we're going to be going into the third and final uh, bedroom. So again, the flooring goes right on into this bedroom as well. Facing the backyard through the vinyl window. You can see where we just were down there. Some floating shelving in here as well. There's where we just came from. And there's the closet door. Pop that open so you can see as well. There we go. Oh, polka dots. <laughs> So then we have the flooring going all the way in there and you've got two shelves and a rail, just like the other bedroom we just saw. All right, so now we've seen the main floor and the second floor. Now let's go into the finished basement. All right, turn the corner, there's that beautiful kitchen again. And down the main staircase. Also have some hooks here for coats and whatnot. All right, so carpet staircase, carpet staircase coming down. When we arrive on the floor itself on this level, now we're on a ceramic tile, and then it looks like a laminate floor going into the rec room, and uh, that's your laundry as well. So we'll turn right around. I just bumped my <laughs> my arm there on the railing. Okay, so now we've got storage under the stairs. This is your garage, and that's also access to the uh, the furnace. And then you go into the rec room, laundry, and then you also have a closet right there as well. And so let's turn right around and pop this open. And again, this is all going to be cleaned in the next few days. So we've got storage. It also has a central vacuum, so there's your attachments. So it's it goes in and tucks off to the left. So you've got some great storage here and also a shelf and rail. And that's convenient because if you come in through the garage right here, then you can put your coats and shoes and whatnot right there, and it's right on concrete, so nice and easy to, uh, to deal with. We'll go into the garage at the end. Now let's go into the living space in the basement. So that flooring goes all the way through. So this is storage, so you've got a shelf and a rail there and a shelf over there. So a good amount of storage space here for whatever you'd like to use it for. And now we're into a rec room. So I'll go right over to the corner. So there we go. And that's your washer and dryer. I'll open that up in a moment. 
there's the hallway we just came through a moment ago. There's the thermostat for this floor, so three all together, one per floor. And there's your electrical panels and telecom, so Bell is already here, fiber off, I believe. Let's open that closet up, open the bifold doors. There we go. So there's the washer and dryer, also included in the rent, and then the air exchanger is just above it. They just have some curtains right there to it's not the <laughs> most beautiful thing in the world, so they've put some curtains in front of it. But there it is. Again, you can hear it working away, fresh air in, stale air out, and it also, like I said, helps to control the humidity. I'll go right over to this side of the wall, or the room, so you can see. So this is a great size room, so you should be able to fit couches and maybe a big screen TV, uh, TV down here, or you can make it an office. A lot of people working from home these days, of course. So a great room there. And now we'll just finish off in the uh, in the garage. And like I said, the previous residents just moved out, so they still have some of their belongings here. Family members are going to be picking these up, these items. So these items that you're seeing here are all going to be gone. Some of the shelving will remain. So you can see here the shelving here. And as I turn around, you've got some shelving and storage here that would will remain. There's a central vacuum right there in good working order. Your... Um, uh, some more electrical is just in there and then of course your garage door and garage door openers right there and this is your furnace so there's your furnace it's in good shape everything in good working order and again you can see that there are three zones hence the three thermostats so there's your top floor your main floor and your basement and that provides you with heating and domestic hot water it'll just keep firing you should never want run out of hot water and like I said, the estimates for uh, oil and power are in the ad itself. All right, so there you go. So now you know everything about the property, where it's located, what it's like on the outside, what it's like on the inside, the floor plan, and uh, everything else from top to bottom. So my name is Chris Ryan. I'm a property manager here in Halifax. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a showing, please reach out. My phone number is 902 830 4465. Thank you very much and have a super day. Bye-bye.